What's up guys, just stopped at a rest area on my way from Daytona back to Palm Beach <clears throat> to return the bike. I thought I might as well, while I'm resting, give you my thoughts, my uh, review, we should say, of this great Harley Davidson Heritage 114. I've had this bike for two days, put 500 miles on it. This is the exact bike that I took last year for the same trip went from Palm Beach up to Daytona, spent there a few days, and had it with me for pretty much now 500 miles before I think it was 1,000 miles. Let me tell you, I enjoy this bike a lot. I forgot what a great, little, nimble, comfortable bike this is. I've stated this in the past already. I think that the heritage riding position and setup is the most comfortable riding position of all Harley bikes. Very fashionable now, January, we're at the beginning of 2024, we're March 2024, and the big style and big fashion, and it's very trendy to have a bagger. And if it's a bagger, it has to be obviously a performance bagger. Yeah, that's the fashion right now. And for some reason we, we overlook this great soft tail frame, this great soft tail chassis. I think it's timeless. The, the, the design, it's so pure. It's so simple. Just the frame, they slap on it. A very effective barn, barn door fairing. It looks kind of silly, but actually I think it's extremely cool. Extremely cool looking. It, goes, it gives very good wind protection. Last time I took this bike, by the way, I was complaining about, the only complaint I had about the bike was the suspension seemed a bit soft in the back. Well, this time I actually had the tech, the, the technician over there where I rented the bike, I told him, and he took the cover, the, the seat off, and realized that they actually had it on the softest. So they put it uh, mid uh, mid range. There's the heritage from from last year. I loved it last time. I think it's pretty much Harley's best riding position triangle, and I love the way it rides. Last time it was a bit mushy. The the rear suspension. Can you uh, tighten uh, the preload a little bit, or yeah, we can tighten the preload. Yeah. Yeah, I thought That's this one had. I'm gonna set it right in the middle. Here we go. We're we're stiffening up the suspension from last time. Remember, I was complaining that it was it was too mushy. So this it was all the way on one. So hopefully we bring it up to the middle, and it's gonna be a nicer ride. It's great. It's nice and tight, and it handles beautifully. The power. This bike is stock. No changes. They didn't do anything to it. No engine guards. No cams. Just stock not even slip-ons and this bike is is quiet it's comfortable it's very very nice a nice ride the seating i'll show you the seating position very soon i really enjoy this bike i know also the, the previous the previous video i did about it people really enjoy the, that video and like like the bike as well I think this bike should be getting way more attention. It's a smaller frame than any of the Touring models. And that's what makes it actually extremely nimble, extremely quick, and also extremely comfortable. I don't know if the handlebars over here with their eyes are stock or they were changed, but if it's stock, like I think it is, boy, this is so comfortable really really comfortable ride like i literally can see a bike like this in the future for me i mean this color black and 
chrome with the spoke wheels boy this is a, a great bike two days and uh, obviously these are smaller bags but it was enough uh, all I needed was my camera gear and clothes for two days and it was uh, just enough I mean if you're gonna go for a longer trip you might as well uh, get uh, like a sissy bar and a bag in the back dude I mean this is this was just simply great I really enjoyed this bike and let me show you let me put you right here over here on the stand so you can see the riding position Call it a riding, the riding triangle, right? I mean, look at this, look at this neutral uh, position. Comfortable, handlebars exactly at my height. You can ride hours like this. Leg position, really comfortable. Really enjoyable bike. So is it a long-term review? No, it's obviously not long-term, but I have around uh, 1,500 miles on this bike, this specific bike, stock. I really like it, I really enjoy it. One little nitpicking, okay? I'm gonna be nitpicking a little bit, and it's a matter of taste. I'm not crazy about, you know, these designs with these uh whatever you call these pleats these buttons i don't know like whatever they are i'm not a big fan of them just a matter of taste but again that's probably something i would change just because i don't i don't care for that look but this is a great looking bike if anybody knows of this kind of bike a heritage 120 anniversary edition please let me know and interested in uh, maybe parting way with it saying bye bye to it I'll be very interested uh, you know uh, hearing about it so that's it guys love this heritage man the Milwaukee Milwaukee 8 on this stock and it's just so smooth it's quiet like just just pure riding you know just pure enjoyment of riding yeah I'm pretty much speechless at this stage so that's it guys short review long not really long-term review but enjoyable review of this bike I'm Sandy watching holy shift guys till the next video peace out yeah. Heading down back, I uh, got another 150 miles from here down to Palm Beach to return the bike. I'm gonna enjoy this ride. Bye.